Oops. All right, guys. So we're going to be talking about emphasis, um, and you're need, going to need to take notes in your sketchbook. Um, um, as I read along, I will tell you exactly what you need to write. So emphasis, um, and this would be a good thing to write, the definition. Remember, just to pause the video um, as you feel um, however long you need to write things down. Emphasis is defined as an area, object, or part of an artwork that draws the viewer's interest. This is referred to as a focal point. All right, A focal point is an area in an artwork that has most significance. Okay, it's basically what the artist is wanting to draw your attention to. So you're just writing that first sentence, but emphasizing is, is creating a focal point. Artists can use the element principle of design emphasis to intentionally make their audience look at a part, subject, or object in an artwork. Artists will create emphasis by contrasting the elements of art, and that's what you're going to be writing is that second sentence. Artists will create emphasis by contrasting the elements of art in their artwork, such as contrasting shape or color. Emphasis. Some ways that you can create emphasis in your artwork is with color. One color stands out. Shape. One, a different shape from the majority. Size. One is larger than the rest. Or detail. Something has more detail and that can be line as you'll see in the sketchbook activity. Contrasting. Contrasting your colors or your hues or your values. Or isolation, which you've heard before when we talked about balance, when putting something off all to itself, all alone. What grabs your attention in this painting? Take a look at this artwork. Uh, what grabs your attention first? Um, the artist is creating emphasis here, and he's painting them through warm, intense colors and contrasting them with the dark background. So he's wanting you to really see these um, people in the center. D d he's not worried about what anything looks like in the background, but the people first. Subordination. You need to write this down. One strategy you can use to create emphasis is subordination. Subordination is the minimizing or toning down. This is what you're writing the other compositional elements in order to bring attention to the attention to the focal point just like in that painting before the colors of the background were really toned down so that he could bring your attention to the people in the center in this example um, it is clear that the emphasis is on the large yellow chick it's the largest subject in the art piece. Um, you can see the purple circles in the background, but the chick is very big in comparison. Also, it has a nice big white border around it, which really makes it stand out from the background. Here's another example. Um, this is Herman Doomer. It's a Rembrandt painting. Um, an example of uh, emphasis created with contrast. So the figure skin is bright, um, and the bright white collar stands out very against the dark background. So um, your eyes are drawn to his face first. The emphasis is on him. Um, you can try creating emphasis with color. Um, like color dominance, contrasting colors. You can try using it with movement, um, or you can use different, so different shapes, colors, lines, textures. And then details, you can make one part more detailed than the next. All right, here's another one by Edgar Degas. Um, all right, so size, dominance, and perspective. What do you see here? Okay, as you first look, you immediately look to the girl in the front with the bright red flower. Most of the emphasis has been placed on her. Everybody else kind of blends in the background. So he used color, um, and then he also used perspective. So everybody's kind of smaller in the background, and your eyes drawn to the person right in front that is larger. Emphasis shows that you have a point to your art piece. You have a message. You have something to say. 
You know what you want to tell your viewers and you have the skill and understanding of how to direct your viewer to the work and then guide them through it. By creating emphasis on a subject or place in your artwork, you are creating a spot for which the viewer will enter your artwork. Um, so we're going to be doing our emphasis activities in our sketchbook and there are um, there is a video for one of them and the others um, should be pretty self-explanatory with my instructions in Schoology.